Dazzling Bayside Sunsets World Famous Sport Fishing And a chance to feed some hungry tarpon Is what awaits visitors to the village of islands Isla Mirada The sport fishing capital of the world The name means Purple Island and it's believed the early Spanish explorers gave it this name, after seeing the mesmerizing glow of the island's sunset. The village is composed of six main islands, but only four of them are connected to the Overseas Highway, which is the main highway that runs through the Keys. The other islands can only be accessed by boats, And some of these islands are a popular kayaking adventure for many tourists. You're welcome to join along, as we travel down to the village of islands. Isla Mirada. At mile marker 84 on the overseas highway, we find the Holiday Isles Postcard Inn. In the 70s and 80s, Postcard Inn was a popular place to hang out and party at their famous Keys Tiki Bar. But over the years the resort has had a major makeover, and is now more family friendly. It has a full service marina, offering fishing, diving and eco charters. And after you get their famous rum runner drink, you can relax at their own private beach. Watching the waves roll in, from the Atlantic Ocean. If you are looking for an ocean front resort that covers everything the Keys has to offer, Postcard Inn is the place. Just three miles north on Bayside, at mile marker 87, is Founders Park. It sits on Plantation Key, the northernmost island of Isla Mirada. The park has tennis and basketball courts, an Olympic-sized pool, an amphitheater and marina, and best of all, a family-friendly beach. Unlike other islands in the Keys, Isla Mirada is not known for its beaches as much. But this beach here at Founders Park is as nice as you can find. The waters on Bayside are usually much calmer than oceanside beaches, as you can see here. Great for families with children. And if you got an hour, Stop next door to the park and see Betsy the Lobster at the Rain Barrel Village. Always a tourist favorite to stop and pose for pictures. Heading south to the upper Matacumbi Key is the Whale Harbor Marina at mile marker 83.4. Isla Mirada is called the sport fishing capital of the world, having perhaps the highest density of fishing boats and tournament grade captains anywhere on earth. And you will find more than its share of boats and captains at Whale Harbor, ready to chart your adventure at sea. Whether it is deep sea or backwater fishing, they can tailor a program to suit your needs. And whether you've been sport fishing or jet skiing, when you are done for the day, you can relax at the Wahoo Bar and Grill. Cited for having one of the best views for dining in Florida.
Key Largo, Isla Mirada's neighbor up north, is known as the dive capital of the world. But Isla Mirada can accommodate you as well, if you want to do some snorkeling or scuba diving. Whether your interest is shipwrecks or reefs, the adventure is just a charter boat away. One of the most popular dives in the Upper Keys, is the Key Largo Dry Rocks. But most people just call it, the statue. It's the location of the famous Christ of the Abyss. The statue was the work of the Italian artist Guido Galletti, and it was gifted to the city of Key Largo in 1965. This bronze statue towers about 9 feet tall, and is anchored at only 25 feet below the water. Given its shallow depth, it has become the perfect dive for snorkeling enthusiasts. We are looking at the Spiegel Grove shipwreck. The ship was purchased in 2002 by the city of Key Largo, and then purposely sunk, to provide a sea habitat for the coral reef, as well as a dive opportunity for scuba enthusiasts. The shipwreck sits in about 140 feet of water, 6 miles off the coast of Key Largo. This US naval ship, that was retired in the 1970s, has become probably the most requested dive in the Keys. And of course, we can't forget the coral reefs. It is always a popular charter for divers, who are looking to experience up close and personal, the only living coral reef in the US. We are here at the Murata Way Arts and Cultural District. In the heart of Isla Murata at mile marker 82.2. It is a road that runs parallel to the overseas highway. And across the street is the Isla Mirada Fish Company, so should be easy to spot. Our next stop is at mile marker 81.5. At the Isla Mirada Fish Company. With a name like this, you can expect to find fish on the menu. Conch fritters, shrimp, lobster and local catches such as grouper and snapper, are some of the seafood choices. And if seafood doesn't appeal to your appetite, they also have chicken and beef entrees. As with many waterfront spots, you can expect to find a marina. We are looking at the Worldwide Sportsman Bayside Marina, offering a full range of water activities. And if you have the time, check out the boat that is inside the Bass Pro Shop building next to the marina. This boat is the one that was in the 1948 movie Key Largo. And right next to the Isla Mirada Fish Company, is the Mirada Bay Beach Cafe. Serving bayside sunsets with your meal right on the beach. Our next stop at Oceanside, is Bud and Mary's Marina. Located at mile marker 79.9. The place has been in operation since 1944, offering charter boats to offshore and backcountry fishing. They also have lodging right on the marina, so you are never too far away from the boats. We are here at the popular Robbie's Marina. Probably the best known attraction in Isla Mirada and well worth the stop. The marina offers fishing charters, eco tours and more. If you want to rent a kayak or jet ski to the smaller nearby islands, they have that too. Boating adventures, bayside dining, an open air flea market. And the always fan favorite, the opportunity to feed the tarpon.
Pelicans, manatees, and even sharks compete with the tarpon for the fish.